We are practicing adding using a hundreds chart. The first thing we do is we look at our problem and decide which number has the greatest value. 46 has the greatest value in our first problem, so we find 46 on the hundreds chart. Next we look at the other add end, the other number that we're adding to 46. In this case, that number is 18. We start by looking in the tens place. How many tens are represented in 18? One. So we would have one jump from 46 to 56. Next, we would look closer at our ones place. How many ones are represented in this number? Eight. There are eight ones represented in the ones place. So that means we need eight jumps forward. Forward because we're adding. When adding, our numbers are getting larger. So eight jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. With our 18 represented, we have landed on 64. 46 plus 18 equals 64. For our next problem, we have 30 plus 31. Looking at which number is the largest, 31 is the largest number and would make the most efficient use of our jumps. So we need to find 31 on the hundreds chart. Next, we look at the number 30. How many tens are in the number 30? There are three tens. That means that there will be three jumps to represent that 30. One, two, three. Now, we've made our three jumps. Are there any ones that we need to jump? No, there aren't. So our number 30 plus 31 equals 61. When looking at subtraction, using the hundreds chart, we identify the largest number, just like we did with addition. So our largest number is 34. We have to find 34 on the hundreds chart. Now, because we are subtracting, our numbers will be getting smaller. Looking at the tens place, how many tens are represented in 26? Two. We need to jump up. One. Two. We are now at 14. Next, we look in the ones place. How many ones are represented in the ones place? There are six, so we need to jump back six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. We landed on the number eight. So starting with 34, subtracting 26, the answer is eight. Going to our next problem, 53 minus 15. Identifying the largest number, 53. And now looking in the tens place, how many tens are represented in the number we're subtracting? One. 
So we will have one jump from 53 to 43. Next, looking in the ones place. What number is represented in the ones place? Five. So we need to count back five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. And we landed on 38. So 53 minus 15 equals 38.